Hey everybody, welcome back to Art by Galen. I'm Galen Eilenfeld and I've got another Photoshop quick tip for you today. Today we're going to be talking about clipping masks. Now a clipping mask is a, a new layer that you can create on top of another layer that will only draw on whatever pixels are on the layer that it's above. Uh, if that sounds kind of confusing, let me give you a demonstration here. Uh, now what I've got, I've, I've taken, I've got my background layer, which is just white, and then I've got a new layer, which is black. Uh, or I'm using kind of a dark color and I've drawn a silhouette of an arm and a hand and so what we're gonna do um, we're gonna make a new layer and then you create a clipping mask by either right clicking and hit create clipping mask and you'll notice that the layer itself indents over the top of the one that it is a clipping mask of and that one also has an underline under the title uh, you can also do this by holding the Alt or Option key, highlighting the line in between the two layers, and clicking, and it will do it that way. Um, now, once you have the new clipping mask layer selected, you can grab a new color. Uh, we'll find like kind of a fleshy tone, because I'm, I'm painting skin. And now you'll notice that when I paint, it stays inside the area that's painted underneath it. Now, this is a whole new layer, and all even though you only see a part of the strokes that are here, the whole stroke is there. I can move this around and you can see the edges of the stroke, but it only shows up within uh, whatever pixels are in the layer underneath. So if I fill this in a nice solid skin color, then I can begin you know, doing my rendering process. And I never lose just that basic shape if I turn off that ma mask layer. Uh, another thing that's really cool about this is it preserves the transparency or the uh, opacity of the pixels uh, of the layer that's underneath it. So if we go back to the 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 black layer here, let me turn this off for a second. Um, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna get a soft brush and I'm gonna choose black and we're gonna do just a soft blend here. It's like you see it's very dark and then it fades out. And it's not a gray color, it's just a less opaque black. You'll notice if I take the background away, it, it literally, you can see through it. And so now if we go back here, you can see that that, that skin tone that's over it uh, fades out in the same manner that the, the black underneath would fade. This is going to work no matter what color or texture that you put onto it. So if we wanted to paint it kind of a green color, it would be the same way. It would be very dark over in the area where it's uh, really opaque and very faded out in the area where it's more transparent. Um, and this isn't, you can do this with colors, you can take an image and do the same thing. And this is a method that I use with almost all of my work. For instance, if I'm doing a character illustration and I've got the silhouette and I'm starting to paint, I go in here and I would focus on doing the, uh, you know, doing all my rendering until it was finished. And then if I liked it, then, and only then, I'll take that and I will merge it down if you right click and merge down or if you hit uh, control E um, it will merge that layer down onto the layer underneath it and now we have just the the one layer with the arm and the paint that was on it visible and it has clipped off everything that was outside I much prefer using this method over using say the magic wand tool um, just to give you an example if I click the area outside of the arm with the magic wand to select it or if I turn up my tolerance and I select the arm and then I try to make a new layer and I try to paint inside that, what's going to happen is I'm going to get very hard and very pixelated edges. And see if you zoom in on this, like instead of having these kind of natural, you know, pencil or brush strokes, you're going to have very jagged pixelated uh, looking like you lassoed it, cutting it out, and pasted it onto something. It's not going to look very professional. Um, but uh, anyway, this has been another Photoshop quick tip. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and hit that subscribe button if you want to get notifications for more and you're not already a subscriber. Thanks again for taking the time to watch, and I hope you have a great day. And until next time, take care. Thank you.